happens, but this is the patient stage. You can see there's kind of a, a cease of the boiling. There's not as much. And it's about to happen. <laughs> Did I explain why we have those stones in there? No. The the boil they're called boiling chips and they just make it so that when it boils it's not like it all splashes out. They kind of just um, allow for a more even boil rather than a a, a rolling boil that would kind of spill over and potentially kind of ruin the integrity of the experiment. Uh, so they're not doing anything other than just helping the boiling process to... There it goes. <laughs> and you can see it should still, still keep freezing and then as it freezes you'll see it boiling below the surface a little as well. Can you see that there is it? The ice forms, it's also boiling. So you've got your three phases, your gas phase, your solid phase, your liquid phase, all existing at the same time. This is actually almost the best boiling I've seen with the ice so far today. And then sometimes the ice will move because it will boil underneath it. Oh my gosh. So it will pull up on the ice oh as it forms. Morse code. <laughs> So this would be your triple point. Do all substances have a triple point? And all substances should have a triple point, but the weird thing is some of them are at very low pressures, like this one's extremely low. Carbon dioxide's triple point is at a very high pressure. It's five times atmospheric. So it's not necessarily consistent what pressure the triple point would be found at, but all substances do have one. Um, it may be harder or easier to reach depending on the substance. But uh, so at this point, I guess if this is kind of the culmination um, of the of the vacuuming, and you can see that because that pressure is still pretty low in here, it's gonna.